Hello class. Today we're going to be painting Pablo Picasso who is a famous cubist style painter and I picked a painting that is one of my favorite and I'm going to really enjoy showing you how to draw it and paint it the cubist style. You'll notice that the cubism style is very flat looking with a lot of geometric shapes that you're used to drawing circles and squares and lines and arcs. This is an example of cubism and the reason why it's called cubism style is because Pablo Picasso, what he would do in his paintings is he tried to paint the side view and a head-on shot all at once. And we're going to be painting the three musicians and the cubism style is great for you to learn because it uses all the sh shapes that I have taught you. Circles and lines, arcs, and um, all kinds of really wonderful mark making. And then we're going to paint it. We are just going to use plain paper and a black crayon and then watercolor. Pablo Picasso was a painter and he really enjoyed using oil paints, but we're going to try to do some painting with the mediums that we have, watercolor. I spent some time at the DMA, the Dallas Museum of Art studying Pablo Picasso's paintings there. I'd like you to take a look at some of the beautiful paintings there at the museum and Mr. G went as well. We're going to start first with the guitar player. We're going to do his head, which is just real easy. Start at the top of the page and just an arc like that, half a circle. And we're going to do his mask. Just a long rectangle. Round circles for his eyes. This is his mouth. That's what I think. And he's got like a beard attached to it. And then his long arms like this. That shape. This shape looks a lot like an L, his arm. So he's got kind of a design on it. Triangles. And then we're gonna do the clarinet musician. There's his hat. And he also has a very cool mask on. That shape. Round eyes. There's his mouth. Nice long Rectangle shape, round circle, like that, just lines, and then we have the singer, sort of like a triangle shape. Rectangles, this long rectangle here. Square there. And then we got the long lines like that. He's got a super cool squiggly lines like a beard. 
like that. And then we have the guitar. Round circle shapes. And then we, oh, I forget his nose. We got that. And then the music with that. Oops. They all eventually break like that. It's okay with use. Then we need round circles filled in for the musical notes and lines, like that. And then we are going to do the scoring like this. Really interesting mark making. for the watercolor. Oh, we forgot to do his face. Okay, now we're ready to paint. Okay, I wanted, I wanted you to be able to use whatever colors you want. And don't get too worried about your shapes and the picture being perfect. I'm going to be looking for lines and triangles and half circles and rectangles and just do the best you can, okay? I'll be happy with what you do. Okay, so I'm just using the colors that, trying to match the colors that Picasso did. I really like the brown. So I'm going to get the brown background done first.
the cr black crayon is keeping it from bleeding through. That's why we use the outline in the black crayon. I can't wait to see your finished masterpiece. Use whatever colors you want.